Hello everyone, Daniel here again, and today we're going to be doing a video on the Wednesday Guild Boss called Arcane Elder. Uh, one second, I'll go ahead and show you what my current score is. I do have one attack left, as you can see, I've already used two of my attacks. Uh, but right now I have a score of 11.1 million, and I'm just going to go ahead and check out my lineup in just a moment. My lineup would actually consist of Carol DeBell, and the purpose of her is to go ahead and get rid of the Arcane Elder's clone. Uh, once he spawns after about, I think it was 10, like 10 to 15 seconds after he spawns, approximately spawns like an additional clone. It is really, really hard to kill. My heroes can't actually kill it, which is why I have... Um, Carol the Bell to go ahead and just remove that clone um, but as, as you can see I have a plus three gold tyrants brand on my toxic which is Pisces with level two enlightenment which really really helps I um, also have a Rene Pisces go ahead and have a double divine if my heroes could kill the clone I will go ahead and swap out the Carol for an arcane caster or an abyss or some other hero that would do a lot more damage than Carol does uh, for the moment, since my heroes are too weak, I'm using Carol. I also have another Enchantress, because I'm going to be using Rene for reviving the Enchantress Divine. I have a, um, I have a blade on her. Go ahead and just do a little bit extra damage. I have the Wolf, which can constitutes uh, the bulk of my damage. He is only at Virgo. He is kind of weak, but even at his point, he is pretty much stronger than my actual toxic uh, in certain respects he is stronger than my toxic which is really really crazy if you think about it um, but enough talk let's just go ahead and just jump into the attack go ahead and show how I attack the skill boss and to start off with I'm just gonna go ahead and put wolf right there he starts off kind of slow so I'm gonna put Carol DeBell behind him and then Rene behind Kerr uh, and then once they go ahead and drop past this band I'm gonna go ahead and put toxic because he is ranged and once they hit that band, I'm going to go do Enchantress and just go ahead and do a quick one. Do both of those. They have the wolf hit that first. And then we're just not going to activate any skills. We're going to wait until the Arcane Elder does its little area of effect attack and then wait until it teleports. And now we're going to do Carol DeBell's Divine. We're going to do that there. And then we're going to wait until it finishes because we're going to have enough time to actually do everything. Uh, we're going to have enough time to do both of these. It is going to take away the rage now. But honestly we don't want to use this rage. Because it would be kind of pointless to do so. It would kind of mess up our attack. The only thing we could use it on would be a Carol the Bell. Or a um, Wolf. I suppose it could be used for the Carol the Bell. But it doesn't really provide that much damage. So I'm not too worried. Um, right now as you can see. Uh, right now I'm just going to go ahead and activate. Um, Toxic's Divine. Go ahead and get a little bit extra damage. I'm going to go ahead and activate Toxic Skill, heal us up a little bit. And on the next part, I'm going to go ahead and activate Toxic Shaman's skill again once it teleports. Uh, please teleport pretty quickly. Please teleport. Oh, nope. I'm going to just have to use Enchantress Divine. And it did activate Pangoli, unfortunately. So we're going to have to work around that a little bit. In just a moment, I'm going to activate Rene's Divine, which will go ahead and restore Enchantress Divine as well. I just want to go ahead and be safe. Okay, we got the Enchantress Divine back. And in just a moment, um, once I have the heroes lower, and I probably didn't need to activate it just yet, but I'm still going ahead and activating it. Um, obviously, we're going to get higher than 10 million. We may end up getting higher than 11.4. It's not very likely. I would certainly hope that would be the case. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we can get. We get 11 million, pretty much exactly. We got 1,000 uh, more than 11 million. Um, for any computer geeky out there, this looks like binary code. 11001000. One, one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. I uh, wonder if that's anything. I don't think so, because I think binary has to have like eight numbers for it to actually mean anything. I'm not too sure. Um, but we got um, pretty much exactly 11 million. Not too far off than the 11.1 million that I got before. Uh, that was just a slightly different amount different than the timing. I probably could have beaten that score if I did the Carol de Bell. Probably could have beat it by a couple thousand. Um, but that's going to go ahead and conclude this video. If you do have a suggestion on a future video, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. But this is Daniel. I want to thank you for watching. And peace.